Welcome back subscribers and welcome ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This is actually a subscriber request from TF Fan Geek. I'm going to link um, his channel down below in the description. So make sure you guys check him out, please. He has some pretty awesome videos showing off some pretty cool things. One of my favorite videos he has, uh, he does uh, retelling of the origins of Optimus Prime with a whole bunch of new figures and stuff like that. I highly recommend it. It's very fun to watch. So go, you know, go check him out. So what this request is that TF Fan Geek um, asked for. Now this is a little late because, um, well, uh, homework. <laughs> um, you know what? Actually, here, let me show you that. Yeah. Some of you are probably looking at this right now and going, ha, easy stuff. What's he talking about? Well, I suck at math. I always have. I'm not trying to place the blame, but in high school, um, when I was in math, I feel like my teachers just, I mean, having the teacher I do now, now that I understand all this stuff, um, I feel like my teachers in high school could have done a way better job and, or maybe just cared a little bit more about us. But instead of going, here's the problem, this is what you do. You better get these 50 problems done in the next 30 minutes. Aww. But yeah, this is why this video has not gone up in a few days, just because I've been doing all this. So thank you everyone for your patience. I highly appreciate it. And stuff. Like I said, this was a video request from TF Fan Geek. But what I'm going to do since I have, hey, slash, why are you, ah! Why are you not in focus? And as she's in focus, um, no! Okay, finally. Anyways, technology and me have not bonded for the past couple days. So, anyways, subscriber request of a fan mode to turn Slash right here into Volcanus's tail. So that's what we're going to do today, but since I have her right here, I just want to make a quick, uh, hey, look, this is what Slash is like, and she's pretty awesome. So anyways, Slash from front, Slash from the side, Slash from the rear, from the other side, and back. So the armpits are ball jointed. The legs are also ball jointed. Come on, camera, work with me here. I should work with me. Okay, honestly, I think it was just the backdrop I was using and how small she was and how dark it is. My light isn't being very luminescent. So anyways, ball joints in the armpits, ball joints in legs. There is no wrist swivel. The arm bend is only, what's that, 90 degrees? Yeah. And let's see. Ah! Huh. Well then. <laughs> so anyways, she could do karate kick. Get that tail down. Okay. Do karate kick. And since her dino pieces are behind her, she can't really do a kick back. But she can kneel-ish. Uh, let's see. Here we go. The head could... Oh, no. You cannot exorcist this head because the tail is behind her head. So, oh, anyways, let it, I don't know if you can see that. Here, since that's... Ah! Oh, it's a travesty. I was going to say, since her arms popped off, just pop it off, but I end up popping both off. Her head's kind of hollow in the back. That's whatever. So let's let's do that before myself and maybe some of you guys out there have a heart attack. <laughs> I used to do that to my Beast Wars all the time since they all had ball joints. I just pop their arms off and switch them out with, yeah, it is. That's why I don't have my Beast Wars toys from my childhood in the very best condition. So, yeah. So, let's get down to transformation quick because I think I spent too long talking about her as, you know what I mean. So, uh, just tail flips over her head. By kind of twisting her head, I feel like it makes that tail lock down just a little bit better and then just turn her feet around push them up 
turn her hands down, take the claw, and it actually pegs into her hand, which holds her dino feet. Just kind of put her legs up there like that, kind of like a Dinobot from Beast Wars, actually. I I honestly don't know what dinosaur she is. I know she's, I think she's a raptor. Clever girl. <laughs> um, so yeah, probably the same as Dinobots. And here we go. Here she is. Let's see how close we can get before we lose focus. That's about it. Again, clear plastic. Always a big fan of. Love it. Clear plastic. Clear plastic. Um, I swear earlier I had her standing up. For, there we go. She's smelling the air. Her arms move. 360. And her jaw. Rah. Opens. Rah. Ah. But yeah, there she is. Oh yeah. And one thing she does. Let's stand. Oh, no. We're going to stand her up. No, we're going to leave her right there. One thing she does is, since I don't have any of my Titan Masters on hand, I'm just going to use the Dinobot Enigma of combination. <laughs> the Enigma of combination. And you open up this back panel right here. Oh gosh, I just opened it. Now I can't. <gasps> I'm bad at toys. And then you pop the Prime Master. Enigma, or <laughs> get a Titan Master and make it weird, um, into her back. There we go. And I kind of like that since, you know, she was never meant to combine with the Dinobots that we're going to pop the Enigma of combination in her to form the tail. So, let's get to that part. Shall we? We have Slash getting ready to combine with... Dun, 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 dun. The King of Kings, Volcanus. So anyways, going to turn this beast around, and hopefully he doesn't fall. So, you'll be wanting to see his Gluteus Maximus, and you'll want your itty bitty dino. Gosh, he's itty bitty in comparison. <sighs> Anyways, so what you're going to want to do is flip this out. If you have any, you know, Enigmas or Prime Master, Head Master guys in there, you want to take them out. Because what you're going to do is you're going to fold her head inside. Put that latch down. I mean, you don't have to if you want a more flush look. But I, I'll probably keep it like this for myself. Have her arms up, and then take her legs that are in dino mode, just put them up front, straighten them out, just, there we go, and I, I kind of fold them in as best as I can, there we go, come on, get everything nice, there we go. Plug those legs in right there, because there's tabs in the thighs, so perfect. Get these in as tight as you can. Now, her raptor arms are going to be her um, hooks, her attachment port thingies, so to speak. You'll see these little gaps right up in here. One, two, right here. So, come on, phone. Give it the program here. There we go. So what you're gonna want to do? See how hook hook like her um, claws are? You're just gonna insert them in those two little holes up top. It's it's easier when you're not doing it like I'm doing it right now from far away. So it's not it's not nothing hard. There we go. And let her hang there. And she kind of goes down to the gluteus of the Maximus. So she kind of does look like a little stubby tail or a little pa backpack. Some people are calling it a little backpack. But I like it. 
as a little bitty stubby tail. That's, that's it. Maybe if you, if you wanted to, actually, there's little holes down there. Looks like only one claw will get. Okay, two, there we go. Look at that. That is a better tail right there. So forget everything I just said about these top ones. You're gonna want to finagle these bottom holes right here, right above where that hinge is. You'll see the two holes on the side. They're too small for her claws to fit in perfectly, so you're going to have to squeeze them together. <clears throat> but there you go. So there she is. I want to thank uh, TF Fan Geek again for bringing this up to me. I am going to leave it like this because, I mean, you know, it's, it's a dinosaur combiner, you know, from the 80s, basically. And we were all about the, I don't know... Remember Street Sharks and no, it was the 90s, but you know, all the anthro anthropomorphi thingies. So what anthropomorphi combined robot dinosaur wouldn't be complete without a tail? Bum, ba, dum. So thank you again, again, again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, TF Fan Geek for bringing it up, <clears throat> and thank you subscribers for stopping back by and checking out this little. Fan made the subscriber request video thingy. Yay! This is why I have. Con this is why I encourage conversation on my channel, because without TF Fan Geek ever bringing this up, I wouldn't have known. So she would just be sitting there on the shelf, just kind of sitting there doing her own thing. So, as always. Well, actually, before I get to the as always part. Remove the cap. Um, what I'm going to do, what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to complete, fully complete my Wave 1 collectors. Um, my, my, oh, I'm sorry. Bleh. Ahead of myself because I'm excited about one of the finds I just found. I'm trying to complete Wave 2 of Transformers Power to Prime. <clears throat> so um, I haven't been able to find three of the Legends class. And two new Prime Masters. So I'm working on those to bring you guys those. I'm hunting every time I'm out and about on the, you know, going to school or coming home or going to work or whatever. I'm always, 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 always looking. Come across two finds. And um, as part of that conversation, I would like to hear in the comments down below what figure, if any figure that I show you, would you guys like to see next? <clears throat> I'm going to try to do two videos a week. I'm trying to be consistent, but with all that homework and stuff, Right now, I can't be super consistent until I graduate this spring. Woohoo! Associates degree. Um, but I will try to pump out two videos a week so we could have that conversation. So, first is um, John Goodman. No. Um, the Last Night Voyager Class Hound. He's, oh, FYI, his truck mode is mm, beautiful. Or. Transformers Generation Skeletor! No, uh, Bludgeon. <clears throat> I found Bludgeon complete. So, uh, which one would you guys like to see next, if any, if you're interested, that, in, that is. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, subscribers, for coming back. Thank you, everyone that has stopped by. And most importantly, thank you again, TF Fan Geek, for everything you told me. And... Everyone have a good day or night, no matter where you are in the world. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.